We get asked quite a lot of questions about the site here at Weaver's Way in Sanford, and I thought what better way to answer them than to bring Justin from Belfield Developments onto site and put those questions straight to him. So first off, Justin, what was it about Sanford that really attracted you to the site and to your core values? Well, I think that initially we're, we're always keen to look for a really desirable village and so Sanford definitely ticks that box for us. Um, so when we saw this site, and especially because it's right in the centre of the village, we were, we were delighted, couldn't wait to get started. Um, and the, the process for us begins with look, going around the village and looking at what, what else is there. So looking at all the different types of architecture, looking at historic buildings, the materials, and we pull it all together, put together a mood board, and then use that to influence the design. And so the houses here should reflect that um, and, and sort of not the nod of respect to the, the existing architecture of the village. So you can see here we've used a lot of stonework using the same sort of coloured stone you get in the in the village of Sanford. Uh, we've also mimicked the proportions of the windows. So there, there's some generous proportions of windows like the historic buildings, but with a sort of more modern take on them. Fantastic. You can really see that with the uh, the windows because Park House is just in behind. That's and I right. think that's where the inspiration yeah. for some of those came from. And in fact, the, the colour of the windows is inspired exactly from Park House. The, Fantastic. The black of the windows. Are. Very nice. Justin, while we're here close to one of the buildings, yeah. this is a great example of materials used yeah. here. We've got a selection of stone cladding the windows. Do you want to talk us through some of those yeah, yeah. architectural so, points while so we're here? We, um, the, the window, we've, it's been lovely to use these really, really big windows. We've tried to keep them uh, nice and clean. Uh, some of these very th thin bars on them. So it reflects the sort of historic nature with a sort of sash window to look, but with much bigger proportions, let load of light in. Um, and, uh, and using the, the, the black windows, which is reflective of the area as well. Um, and then it's, it's been re we've really enjoyed working with this, uh, or, or um, incorporating this wood in uh, to the scheme. So this is a, it's a UK sourced hardwood. Fantastic. It's uh, thermally modified, so it's got a sort of double the lifespan. So it's about a 60 year lifespan, wow. which is sort of double what you'd normally expect. Um, but also you don't have to treat it. So we, it's really important to us that we found something that didn't need to be continually maintained and have chemicals and things put on it so it can although it will weather down but it will just um it'll weather down to a beautiful color and then it can just be left there um and, and we've also this is the architectural design so instead of just having the same widths uh, we've got three different widths here so you can see the larger one there middle one and, and a smaller one and, and did it in a random pattern so the guys on site haven't thanked us for it but <laughs> there's, there's, there should be a random pattern across here and we think when you sort of stand back and look at that it just it just looks different and i think it's a real a real sort of special architectural feature and i think that's what makes the difference with that care the attention that's gone into it to really elevate that site beyond what you would yeah. usually expect on a new build site Quite, yeah. yeah really nice so Justin, one of the key things about this site and, and from Belfield's passion is the eco-credentials. And I think the word eco-house is sometimes somewhat overused or misunderstood. I know it's really important to you. So could you just tell me a bit about what makes this site really good on those eco-credentials? Yeah, certainly, George. Um, yeah, completely agree. I think it is. We've got to be really careful of greenwash. There's a, there's, there's a lot out there. Um, for us, it, it starts with taking what they call a fabric-first approach. So looking at the fabric of the building it's the envelope of the building and, and putting a lot of effort into that so that means lots of insulation um, it means air, really really airtight and the important thing there is 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 control so okay. it's not that we want to create an airtight um, house so th there's not the ventilation we, we then couple that with with what we call mvhr so it's uh, ventilation but you with heat recovery so when we create the really airtight building we can then, with the MVHR system, we can control the extraction of the air, but retain all that lovely heat that we've generated before we extract the air. So it means the buildings have fresh air coming in, they then recover the heat from the stale air that's going out, and so you're retaining the heat, but you've got nice fresh air okay. all the time coming into the building. Uh, that just runs in the background, you barely hear it. Hear it. Um, so it's also great if people have allergy sufferers um, or if, you, if, if the air quality isn't so good outside, you're, you're, you're filtering it as it comes through. Um, and then we couple that with uh, renewable heat, so we're using air source heat pumps here. Great. Um, and we, that's then plumbed into a, a wet underfloor heating system, uh, which we do on the ground floor and the first floor. 
uh, which is quite unusual. So it, it can be done on the first floor quite often, but uh, normally it's radiators upstairs. But yeah. we, we wanted to do that so that you don't have to have any radiators upstairs to clutter up the, the walls. Like it. Um, and you also get a really lovely um, temperature. The, the, the heat that comes off the floor is a really nice at feel. It gives a very really nice comfort in, in, inside the building. Fantastic. And there's a few extras as well down that route. So the, we've got EV charging. That's right. Uh, as well. Um, and and that all those things come together really just to make it that one step further and closer to a true eco house, but on a development rather than an individual basis. Yeah, it was it. So it was really exciting to be able to, to put the EV chargers into every single house. They're all they're, all, they're ready to go. Um, we also, yeah, talking about going a step further, we've we've w wired in every house with three phase. So it does mean that if people in the future want to go to a, a super fast or a much a faster car charger. Do it again. Um, so if people want to have a faster car charger, then they can they can do that. Um, we, we've provided all the cabling up to the house and from from the house out to the charger, ready for that. So we're just trying to think about feature proofing things for people. So the longevity of, of this legacy that you'll build yeah. to yeah. to fit in with the village, like yeah. it, very good. Well, we've talked about some of the materials that are used on site. We've talked about the eco credentials, but one of the phrases that stuck in my mind from when I first saw this development was this term healthy living. Mm. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that means? Yeah, certainly. So, uh, I mean, we, we've, do, we've done our best to sort of push, push forward as, as best we can. So we touched earlier on the MVHR, so having yeah. filtered air inside is really important as part of that healthy living. Uh, we've also looked at the materials we use, so externally we've, we've tried to reduce uh, plastic wherever we can. So we've got wooden windows with aluminium cladding, um, we've got rid of the plastic guttering which you quite often have, and this is aluminium guttering. Fantastic. And then internally we've tried to reduce the use of MDF as a material, so we've used softwood skirting and architraves, uh, the kitchen doors are solid wood, we've got uh, stone worktops instead of uh, a laminate worktop. Uh, so yeah, we just tried wherever we think we can to reduce any of those materials which we're, we're, which we're try, yeah, trying to avoid. Okay, and it was also that um, the, the, like the wool carpets and things like That's that. Right. It's yeah. just the cutting down on allergies, on dust, on all of those things that potentially could be harmful when you're living in a home. Yeah, exactly right. John. So Justin, here we are on the back of the site. We've got these beautiful uninterrupted views yeah. out to Creedy Park, the footpath that connects you to the village as well. But just to finish up, what I really wanted to be able to, ex for you to explain to people is really what makes these houses so different? Why should they buy a Belfield home here at Weaver's Way? I think, George, it's, it's all those extra little bits that we've added to it. So, I mean, it is, it's a wonderful location and a lovely village. Um, the, the exterior, they, we think they look great. And we've, we've looked at some of the, uh, the finishes we've used here. Um, but it's just, I'd urge people just look at the detail because we just pack this full of features, eco features and high spec features. Um, so it's just, I really urge people to look at that and, and really sort of see where we've gone the extra mile, all those little bits we've done to, to hopefully make these a really, really lovely place to live and yeah, comfortable homes. And, and I think that's really important because there is so much more. It's not all smoke and mirrors. You are getting something for that extra yeah. for a premium product uh, and that really comes through. Well, I've really enjoyed being on site with you today, Justin. Thanks for coming Thank out you. and answering those, those questions. If you'd like to know more about the Weaver's Way development and Belfield as well, then be sure to check out all the details online. The link's in the description below. There's loads more to see, including that full specification. Look forward to seeing you soon.